Today is May 24th, my sister's birthday, and tomorrow is May 25th, my dad's birthday. So I've never been good at buying gifts. Actually, I'm pretty terrible. Maybe instead of buying something, I should actually make something. Yeah, maybe I'll make something. Scan this for the menu. Give me the bloody menu. Lots of food. Uh, I'm here for like 15 minutes and then they're gonna kick me out. Okay, let's talk about Jen. So, who is Jen? Well, Jen at the moment lives in Hong Kong with her fiance. She got engaged this year? Last year? I find it quite funny when I meet Jen's friends and they think I'm the older brother. Probably because she looks way younger and I've got these bags under my eyes that um, are always going to be there. So, it's so hard to describe your sister. I mean, she's a fashion designer by trade. Everything I know about fashion or clothes is from her, which is, I don't know very much, but she knows a lot. She's definitely been to more places than I have. I think 30 plus countries now. She can plan pretty much anything. She used to have this hi-fi system, which was like a big Coca-Cola can. And all I would hear from it was Britney Spears' first album. I pretty much know all the words because of her. If I was to describe my sister in three words, one, extremely strong and tough. We would always get into fights. There was one fight we were in. I remember her distinctively grabbing a house phone back when we had house phones and she smacked me over the head with it and smashed it to pieces. If you fuck around with her, get ready to see the bitch come out. And, oh God, you don't want to go there. You don't, you don't. I've seen her slap the shit out of a girl at a water park. Two, an independent thinker. I think one of the reasons why my parents weren't as strict is because of Jen. Being the older child, you always have that kind of burden of your parents don't really know how to deal with you first. So she really led the way in terms of molding my parents to what they are today. She had always knew what she wanted to do, even at university and at college. Pursuing fashion when my parents were like, No, I'm not going to make you any money. And I even remember going to university to help her, staying at hers for a week, spending a lot of time on Photoshop, and that's really the first time I had ever tried a design tool. So that was pretty cool. One day she decided to really travel. So she quit her job, saved up a bunch of money and just went traveling through Asia for a year. She didn't really plan anything afterwards. Jen can ask so many questions. She would ask you 12 questions before you could even answer one of them. She's so curious about everything. You know, she really cares. So she really has a lot of empathy. She was a born designer in that way. She has really good advice. She offers a really interesting perspective, wildly different than mine from her experience, and I really like that. I definitely value her opinion above anybody else. Three, inspiring. So I think my sister's actually really inspiring. I nearly didn't go to my graduation, and she's the one that convinced me it's a once in a lifetime thing and that I should go, and I'm so glad I did. We have those memories and we have those pictures because um, I should be proud of my accomplishments, right? Graduation in the UK is super expensive. My parents weren't gonna be there. I wouldn't have gone unless Jen pushed me to say that it was actually okay just you know, being happy with your accomplishments. During her time in Hong Kong and her tenure at the companies that she worked at, she realized that she didn't like it and she just quit. 
With 10 plus years in the industry, she was really brave to just give it all up to pursue something that she really enjoyed, which is teaching. And now is really running her own business from that. I think she inspires me a lot creatively. She also inspired the last video. Yeah, I think she's influenced me in more ways than one. By her tenacity, by her bravery, by her courage. You know what, we don't see each other enough. We do these trips sometimes, or if we can meet somewhere in the world, we will. Well, I think we just need to do more in, in general. In general. Okay, let's see what else we can find in the shopping mall. Ice cream, no ice cream. It's okay, just this. Okay, so shopping's done. We got what we came for. Let's go back home. Let's talk about Papa Smurf. Born in the late 50s in South Vietnam, immigrated as a 20 year old to the UK in the 70s, spent 40 or so years living in England. He's definitely one of the most humble guys I know. He loves his classical music. He also gave me the appreciation of martial arts. He was a huge Bruce Lee fan. My dad is actually a huge kid. His favorite cartoon ever was Tom and Jerry. He definitely got me into drawing. He used to sketch Batman really, really quickly. And I think growing up as a kid, I would also try to imitate his sketches. And I think that kind of brought up the love of cartoons for me. He always wanted to live the childhood that he never got growing up in a war-torn country. We had the Xbox, the PS1, and the Dreamcast at one point. I remember one game distinctively watching him play was Mario 64. My dad is definitely a huge tech fan. I probably got into computers because of my dad. We had a PC very early, and if it was up to him, he'll probably be a programmer. He really enjoys documentaries, specifically things like The Blue Planet. I remember watching lots of David Attenborough videos when I was young, and I still think David Attenborough is such a legend. Growing up, my dad has always told me about one day he wanted to move back to Vietnam, and I'm so happy for him that he eventually did it. Really enjoy retirement. Travel, see the world, celebrate everything, because why not? If there's anything you ever need, I got you. I think my favourite thing of all, he has the most amazing stories from his childhood. Absolutely incredible. There's so many stories that I can't actually share here. Maybe there's one story I can share. When he arrived in England, they were based in Bournemouth in an asylum camp. And then later when they were granted their residency, they moved up to Luton where he was working and he had a bunch of Vietnamese friends. And they would go to the pub every weekend, a regular skinhead spot. And lo and behold, something happened. He got locked into the bathroom uh, by a bunch of skinheads. He actually broke down the door and they just started rucking inside the pub. Obviously got kicked out and they were walking around Luton trying to find the skinheads. They called up everybody they knew, so it was just a bunch of guys, 10, 12 guys, just walking around Luton. Yeah, racism was really bad back in the day. That's crazy. That's like some football factory shit. That's like some Green Street shit. Racism was prevalent everywhere, especially when we had businesses and people would just come in, be drunk and just cause a fuss. There's been many times where my dad has defended our business by chasing away customers or getting into fights. It's terrible. Not only do you have to worry about your business, but you would also have to defend yourself and your family. I have so much respect for this man. And lastly, I wanna finish off by saying, when I get asked this question, what are you most grateful for in your life? And I truly believe this is my parents. The risk they took getting to a new country, having kids relatively early, and spending most of their life really just working 14, 15 hours a day. Risking it all and spending time in a country where you don't feel like you belong and that you don't really belong. 
giving their kids a head start in life and education and the standard of living that the UK has. I'm extremely lucky and privileged that my parents really just went all in and was really forced into a situation where it had to work. Um, what else can I say? I'm eternally grateful uh, to be your kid and for what you've done to support this family. You guessed right, this video is what I made for your birthday. Chukmun Sangyat, Sangyat Phai Lok. Happy birthday, Dad and Jen. I wish you health, love, and happiness. Happy birthday, Jenny! Happy birthday, Jenny! Happy birthday! Woo! <laughs>